Sending up human being is important and it's also very romantic as I said. But getting him back safe is more important in the beginning of next year, which would have a human uh, specimen in the form of a robo. It will be a woman robo. We are very comfortable with Russia. And the collaborations continue with Russia as they have been earlier also. stakeholders are together and there's a huge amount of synergy which didn't happen before. So there's pooling of resources, we have industrial funding, we have uh, knowledge funding, we have a good fusion of the young and the old, particularly after 2020 because earlier on we were confined to ourselves so we had to function within limited resources that were available to us and over the years somehow we had got conditioned to that. So I think the credit goes entirely to Prime Minister Modi because uh, such decisions have to be taken at that level. And for almost 60, 70 years, uh, there was a kind of a status quo tendency to carry on the way it was. And everybody had then begun to accept it like that, that you know, space department was a department which was meant to function behind a veil of secrecy. As a result of this, which we were actually depriving ourselves uh, from uh, any other pooling of resources from other sources and of course uh, government can't be supporting the space missions to its entirety which is very evident even in the most uh, premier institutions like NASA where most of the funding and the other sources come from the non-government sources. So that has helped us and I think it's very evidently now visible because in just about three years we have 150 startups uh, at ISRO private startups collaborating with this role, whereas we had just had about four in 2020. And many of them, like the earlier ones, the beginners in Sky Root and others have turned into uh, very attractive entrepreneurs. So I think that's uh, now a uh, synergy between academia, research, industry, startup. So that is something which has given us a quantum leap, I would say. For Gaganyan, we need to have two trial missions before we actually send a human being. So as of now, we had planned that the first trial mission could happen in October, that is next month. But earlier, about six months back, we tried to, we, we had thought of September, but then this Aditya came in. So we have first uh, mission because you see, sending up human being is important and it's also very romantic, as I said. But getting him back safe is more important. Because if that, you know, something goes wrong then. So for that, we need to have very thorough confidence uh, uh, before we actually, you know, venture into the fund. So we'll send one trial mission, which will follow the same eternally. Not be long, maybe for a few hours going up in the space and getting back wherever it has to, in the waters or whatever. Then the second mission would be by the end of this year or maybe beginning of next year, which would have a human... Uh, specimen in the form of a robo. It will be a woman, woman robo. He's been named Vyobitra. And she'll go up, she'll follow the same eternity. <coughs> also the same activity which are actually a human being will follow in the actual mission. So that we are able to, you know, make sure that uh, everything goes well. And she comes back and is retrieved back in the same manner as, I mean, she would be all human except the soul. So then the third one would follow. That uh, complaint which happened uh, in between was also due to some other logistic reasons because uh, uh, the finance department had tried to j make the modus operandi more you know transparent by opening up accounts for different projects. So that caused the delay. But now that's been taken care of. The grant of uh, uh, for, uh, the fellowship grants and etc. We we would like to you know. For, to channelize them through the institution so that they reach faster. Because otherwise, the individuals would take time. So that was a logistic issue that's been taken care of. And uh, uh, 
National Research Foundation, of course, overall will help in funding because we will not be then limited to the government funds. I think popular G20 meeting that happened was in Srinagar. All the hotels got booked, all the side events were there, and leave aside the official routine, people were moving out in shikaras, moving across the valley, and um, all the foreign delegates. So, uh, I think that is there's a tremendous change. From that point of, view. of course, to make their presence felt, they did harm the the Shmiri funded targets, which of course is condemnable by all means, because they've already, funders have already gone through the worst. So that is uh, a different issue, but overall, I think if you see the kind of, you know, you don't have, uh, Kashmir was never known to have this home tourism concept, which was there in Northeast and uh, Meghalaya, Shillong, because I've lived there also. You know. Last year, they opened up because there was no hotel. So they found it a good means of generating revenue. Finally, the home uh, accommodations were also exhausted. And so is the uh, case now. Uh, people are not finding accommodation even the houseboats and the hotels. I mean, such heavy is the tourist side. Not only the domestic tourists, even the foreign tourists. So they would not venture if, uh, uh, and they are also, you know, they make, uh, they make all sorts of verifications before they step in. So overall, there is a huge change. multi allied uh, world and multi allied event because otherwise Russia has never been seen to have expressed any kind of uh, you know displeasure or concern about this. So uh, it's, uh, I don't think that will be right to say because we are very comfortable with Russia and the collaborations continue with Russia as they have been earlier also. It's only that you know certain the priorities even in space have been different. Like they gave up lunar. Uh, earlier on, there was an I, I, there, there, was, there was a thought of having a joint mission also right. to advance stage in time, which didn't materialize because Russia was possibly then not very keen. Joint mission with Russia? No, as far as lunar mission. Uh -huh. So what I'm trying to say is that even the space sector, yes. the priorities keep different. You know, each country decides its own. So sometimes, you know, Americans they were not uh, they were very early in going to moon, then they had a second thought. Russians too had, they have again now revived. Whereas India, I think, has uh, uh, has made the exclusive breakthrough of ha having used space technology in other sectors, space in uh, sectoral development. Because we are a heterogeneous country. So our range of applications uh, uh, is much more than it could be in any homogeneous country of Europe. So we are using it uh, in the coastal areas for a different purpose. We are using it in Himalayas for a different purpose. You know, we have radar and space um, uh, satellites for disaster management. We are now, our expertise in checking disasters or uh, averting disasters through space technology is better than any other country because of our experience with disaster. We have, you see, we have a huge uh, experimental you know, resource over here. Because our experience with disaster is much more. Yeah. Our cyclone happened 200 years back, the Shillong's cyclone, after which this was set up, this survey of India and this lab. So we have had a much more experience and now, we are now providing disaster forecast to all the neighboring countries, including Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka. Uh, in fact, we set up a satellite in 2016. It's not officially called a SARS satellite, but it's virtually like that. So all the countries, SAR countries are benefiting out of that, except for Pakistan, which chose to be uh, remain out of it uh, to its own disadvantage. But uh, so now in certain areas, we are uh, not, uh, in fact, benefiting the others as well. When lockdown happened, uh, the impact was twofold. A, that our astronauts were undergoing a training in the Gregory Training Institute in uh, Moscow, because they have different states of training. So they had to be called back. So that got. Secondly, this supply chain, of course, as you said, that also got. So we were left behind about two, three years back. Otherwise, ideally, we had a very ambitious plan of uh, launching it around the 75th year. 
which of course couldn't happen. Right from the beginning, we, we didn't have much of collaboration with China. Even in, uh, in the times were different, it was never, I mean, we were never uh, in that kind of uh, synchronization. So it was mostly the then Soviet Union, and now of course both Russia as well as uh, America. And now with the change of political situation, everybody wants to do business with India and looks up to Prime Minister Modi. Uh, so that's how he has emerged as one of the tallest uh, leaders and many of the other countries wish to uh, work with India primarily also because they don't wish to be uh, associated with China. So I think that could be an advantage also for us. This government is very open to that. In fact, uh, this uh, in fact, when we move closer to public-private participation, these things will also be taken care of. And uh, some of the best practices that have been adopted after Prime Minister Modi came in were being, uh, were, were being practiced in the private sector already. We didn't happen here. A whole lot of deregulation is now being done in all the departments, including uh, science. Because that red tapeism which uh, science was suffering was because it was being treated like any other department. I get your point. But I think we are, and wherever we come across uh, rule, some of the rules have been there. I think this is a good uh, uh, analytic study for uh, uh, someone as you know uh, as well versed in this. That some of the rules had not been visited for hundred years. They might have been relevant at that point of time. Now there was a rule: if you didn't get the toilets cleaned, you could be put behind the prison, the attendant. <laughs> So, uh, this has now been done away, but you know, that time might have been relevant because it's 200 years ago. Because you didn't have the sanitary facility, so the British uh, enacted this law, it would create new sense in the office how to work, so they had to be straight up. But it had no relevance, but no, no, nobody knew that it existed and nobody followed it also. So, I think we are, wherever we are coming across this, and Prime Minister himself is very open to this.